Thanks again for brunch, Dad. I had a great time. Me too, Ash. Mr. Simpson is so excited that you're coming to speak to our class tomorrow. So am I. Should be a lot of fun. I can't wait to show you off. Ashley. Yeah? Nothing. Um, just see you tomorrow. Bye, Dad. Bye, hon. You didn't put the vinegar in the dishwasher oh. like I asked you to, right? I'm sorry, Kate. I just can't remember things come like on, that. Come on, that's an excuse Toby would make. Oh, Kate, come on. You're gonna compare... <laughs> you better be careful. She's in one of her moods again. Well, I wouldn't be if you'd grasp the concept of hard water. Oh, don't worry about that. We're just having one of our things. So, uh, how was brunch? Great. Dad told me that he went to this royal reception last week and shook hands with Prince Charles. Wow, very she-she. So, uh, did you talk about anything else? Or just, uh, life in London? No. Why, was there something else? No, just, um, maybe nosy. <laughs> I'm glad you had a good time. gave it to my mom on the first anniversary. She left it for me after she died. Carrie, it's beautiful. It's your mom, she's so pretty. My dad called her his movie star. I know, that's pretty cheesy. No, it's sweet. He looks just like her, you know. Shh, quiet down. Remember, our Lord of the Flies test is in two days. So let's use this time in class to catch up with any reading you haven't done. So, what did your mom think of your dad moving back? I'm not sure. They don't get along? No, they get along fine, but... Yesterday, after my dad dropped me off, she was acting pretty weird. How? I don't know, she just seemed dense or something. And then she and Jeff had this fight. Ashley. So, your dad's still coming to media immersion this afternoon, right? Yep. You're not gonna believe some of the stuff he's done covering wars for the news. Wow. Okay, so all you have to do is highlight this here, mm -hmm. and then click the hyperlink button, and you're done. Good. Have you finished your haiku for Miss Kwan yet? Her class is in like 10 minutes. Have you? Ancient waves so pure, lapping on the shores of time, early death our fault. That's happy. That's about our polluted oceans. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, check this out. <laughs> OK. So who's the aeronautics genius? Liberty, this is yours. Yes, and I apologize profusely. Well, don't let it happen again. with Liberty, she was acting like totally weird. She is weird. Yeah, but why would Liberty, who's never missed a day of school in her life, put her neck on the line? And for you. Hello, Liberty has a major crush on JT. What? Come on, it's so obvious. I took it when Mr. Simpson wasn't looking. Thanks, you didn't have to. You didn't have to take the blame today in homeroom. Well, you know, you get in trouble so much, someone has to watch your back. That's very sweet of you, Liberty. Oh, and by the way, it's time the grapevine had a seventh grader as student pick of the week, so I pick you. 
Why? Well, you know, everyone knows you're gonna be famous one day, so I just want to say I interviewed you first. Cool. So, interview after school? Sure. Okay. JT and Liberty sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Would you shut up? She does not have a crush on me. Sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> Poetry is crime. No idea how to rhyme. Stupid waste of time. <laughs> a poem about hating poetry. Since poetry is about putting your feelings into verse, this haiku actually works. Nice job, Sean. OK, uh, who's next? Liberty. Come on down. Smile like a sunbeam, height subordinate to his heart, makes me lie awake. Liberty. Wow. One too many syllables in the second line, but your feelings are definitely shining through. Great work. Well, they uh, stitched me up in a field hospital on the Kosovo border. I uh, still have a piece of shrapnel. Right here. Uh, but I'm supposed to be talking to you about the role of mass communication in society, not uh, rehashing old war stories. That's OK. Does anyone else have a question for Mr. Kerwin? When the shrapnel hit, did your life, like, flash before your eyes? My life? No, not a bit. But the bomb blast sure did. <sighs> OK, I am so in love. Paige, he's my father. Father Schmother, your dad's hot. In an old man sort of way. I can't believe your mom ever let him go. Let him go? It didn't exactly happen like that. He left us and moved to Europe. There wasn't much my mom could do. So why did he leave? <laughs> I don't know. Was there another woman? No, he doesn't even have a girlfriend <clears throat> now. They just didn't get along. Well, now that he's back, maybe your mom and dad will work things out. Get back together. Okay, bye. Hey, Ash, need a ride home after school? Meet you out front. Nice meeting you girls. Bye, Mr. Kerwin. Bye, Mr. Kerwin. Toby. Toby, over here. Toby. What are you doing? Avoiding liberty. What about your interview? Did you hear her haiku? She wants me, man. <laughs> Out of here. JT, you were supposed to meet me seven minutes ago. Uh, liberty, I forgot to tell you. I can't come to the interview tonight. Toby and I have got... dance lessons tonight. Right. Tonight it's, um, ballroom. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's a joke. <laughs> JT, you are beyond funny. Dance lessons with a boy? Anyway, let's use your humor in the article. But uh, if you ever actually want to take dance lessons, you should look me up. Here we go. Thanks again for talking to our class today, Dad. Have I told you how happy I am you moved back? I'm happy too, Ash. Ashley, can we, uh... uh I thought I heard a car. Hey, Robert. Mm -hmm. Wow, you look great. I'm holding a bag of garbage. <laughs> Ash, there's another bag in the garage. Could you get it while your dad and I catch up? Sure. Uh, Dad, we're still on for Sunday, right? Definitely. Great. It hurts soon, real soon. Oh, I can tell. Yeah, the older your dad gets, the handsomer he becomes. Lucky guy. Everyone at school loved him today. <laughs> Everybody always loves him. 
He's the most charming man on the planet. You still think so? After everything you guys have been through? Of course. You know, your dad and I still care about each other. You know that, Ash. Gee, it uh, almost sounds like you two want to get back together. <laughs> get back together? No. What makes you say that? I don't know. You guys have been acting like there's some big secret lately. I just thought maybe it was something about you two. What, is there something? Ash. He hasn't found some other woman, has he? He's not getting married? No. Well, then what? Is he gay? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Ash, there are things your dad and I should have talked to you about a long time ago. Mom, I was joking. It's not a joke. Your dad is gay. I'm sorry, I just don't get it. How can Ash's dad, like, do it with other guys? Not only that, how does he do it? I don't know, JT. I didn't ask. Women, okay? Real women, not girls, are sexy. But guys, I mean, we have muscles, we smell, we have body hair. You wish. Uh, women can have body hair, too. My Aunt Bettina has a... That's this. not what I mean. I don't know, JT. Some people are just gay, I guess. So how'd your interview with Liberty go? Don't ask, don't tell. Hey, Ash, can I join you? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. You've been acting weird all day. I found out something about my dad. Hey, Ash, is everything okay? Paige, we're talking. Perfect, because I want to talk about something, too. Paige, I'm really not in the mood. Concerning your dad. What about him? OK, I was thinking. Robert Kerman, handsome, stylish, charming, successful, total catch, right? And yet, still single. What's your point? Well, he could still be hung up on your mom, or, and I'm sure this isn't the case. But have you ever wondered if maybe your dad's gay? It would explain a lot. Is this supposed to be a joke? No, uh -huh, not. <gasps> <sighs> Just better mind your own business for once, Paige. <sighs> but, uh, my oldest brother's gay. Tara was trying to help. <laughs> don't, don't you think I'm making headway with JT? Wouldn't it be something if we became the new Jimmy and Ashley? Yeah, something. I think I should ask him out. Or is that even okay to do? Sure, if you think he likes you back. You don't think JT likes me? JT's a boy. <laughs> Who knows what's going on in his head? Okay, that's it. I've stood her up, I've ignored her, I've been very rude to her, and she will not take a hint. Just tell her point blank. You're not interested. Okay, this may sound desperate, but it's a plan. Remember that little talk we had about Ashley's dad and his orientation? Yeah. Well, you know what coming out did to his marriage. What if I came out to Liberty? Uh, um... It'd work. You know it would. Ashley. I have to get to class. Uh, I've signed you out the rest of the afternoon. Ash, we need to talk. Please. Liberty, wait up. We need to talk. I couldn't agree more. You first. You'll be the only person who knows what I'm about to tell you. And uh, I'd like to keep it that way, OK? 
So, do you promise you can keep a secret? Okay, I promise. Cross your heart and hope to die promise? Yeah. What is it? I'm gay. What? I like boys, not girls. Gay. Y you're joking. No, I'm not. And I thought you should know since you think we... You thought I had a crush on you? Please, of course I don't. Okay, well, um, great. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. You wanted to tell me something? No, it, it's not important. But thanks for letting me know, and uh, it's our little secret. Were you ever planning on telling me? Ash, you were too young to understand. Too young? When you left us, okay, but you guys had five years. Well, we didn't handle it correctly, I admit, but we thought it would be best if we waited till you were older. Guess what, I'm older. And still pretty hard to hear, right? This is gonna sound so selfish and um, incredibly lame, but I had to find myself, Ash, even if it meant hurting you and your mother. It's nobody's fault, and it's not wrong. It's just the way I am. So why did you even get married? You didn't love Mom. Ash, of course I did. I still do. But I'm not in love with her. I tried to make it work, but I just couldn't. And I hate myself for hurting you. But it was the only thing I could do, honest. I can't believe that worked. No, I can't believe you used that excuse. Okay, there she is. It's time to cement the deal. Hey, Liberty Girlfriend. <sighs> Maybe you should tone it down. Mostly just one man, Christopher. Christopher? My partner. He's a great guy. Christopher? Mm-hmm. The blonde guy with the mustache. The guy we went to the zoo with that day when I got that horrible sunburn? Mm-hmm. The guy you said was your friend from work. Dad, we had him over for dinner in our house. Honey. You left us for him. Ash, it's not that simple. We fell in love. I'm sorry, but I just don't know how else to say it. No. Ash. How could you do this to me? You see, this is exactly why I wanted to wait until you were older, so that you would understand. I understand? Yes, and not just hate me. For what, Dad, huh? For knowing that you were gay or for knowing that all you've ever done is lie to me? Ashley. said earlier, loud and clear. And though it came as a shock, I should have seen it coming. Dance lessons and that boy band compilation CD you own. That's my sister's CD. Whatever. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be great, I mean, you can say no, but wouldn't it be great if you came out in the grapevine? What? Well, you know, as part of the interview. To help other kids struggling with the same issue. Liberty, I don't think that's a very good idea. JT, there's nothing to be ashamed Liberty. of. Liberty! I'm not gay, okay? 
hide? Yeah, because you just wouldn't take a hint. Am I really that horrible? Liberty. If you didn't like me, you should have just said so. Ash, where were you after lunch? Nowhere. Just leave me alone. Ash, come on, something happened. You want to know what's been happening? My dad came here to tell me that not only is he gay, but he dropped out of my life because of his boyfriend. Is that what you wanted to hear? So I explain it all for you? Ash, come on. I've come to a decision. My dad is cut out of my life for good. Ash, come on. I have my mom. I have Jeff. I even have Toby. I don't need him. Ash, what you found out? Of course you're upset, but you don't mean that. Don't tell me what I mean, okay? You have no idea what I'm going through. My mom died, Ash. She's never coming back. But you, you have your dad back. Terry, it's not the same. No, it's not the same. You want to know why? Because you have a choice. I don't. Don't make the wrong one. Ha <laughs> ha